Welcome back home defenders. Today I want to talk to you about uh, something that I think is probably the most important part of home defense and home security and that is deterrence. Um, you know, deterring someone from ever trying to target your home or break into your home uh, is is very very important. Uh, if they never ever try then you never have to worry about it. You have already won. So just want to go over a few points on that and uh, just some various uh, options and different things that you can do to deter um, potential home invaders and burglars from ever even uh, trying to come to your house. So when you talk about deterrence, I mean, really you know exactly what it means is deterring someone from ever uh, trying to get to you so uh, just imagine someone is you know casing your neighborhood driving around trying to find somewhere to break into um, and they come across you know this setup for example um, you have motion detection lights you have a sign that says protected by video surveillance you have a camera right here um, padlock on the gate um, which I have unlocked right now, but of course it's a padlock. So you're driving around looking for an opportunity and um, you see a camera, you see a motion detection light, you see a padlock. Um, we'll move to another area here. See another warning, properties protected by a 24 hour monitored alarm, um, more motion lights and um, signage and whatnot. You see a ring video doorbell and on and on and on. Those things, um, you know, are, are deterrents. And of course, this sign that I've kind of just been showing you while I'm recording, another deterrent, um, which I just have it sitting here below me while I'm uh, recording, just for something for you to look at. Uh, but think about it, uh, you, you know, you have you have signs that say we have an alarm, you have stickers that say we have an alarm, you have uh, stickers and signs, whatever, that say we have cameras, you have padlocks on your gates, you have motion sensing uh, lights, you have, you have cameras visible, things like that. Um, if you're someone driving around looking for a, for a house to break into, that would probably be about the last one you'd want to choose. And so, you know, you've just deterred anyone from ever wanting to get into your house. Um, you know, like I've said before in other videos, if you, if you, someone, you know, say they break through your door, or they break through your window or something like that. And then say maybe your dog scares them off or your alarm scares them off or, um, you know, you have to end up using deadly force against them, something like that. Well, you've already kind of lost. I mean, sure, maybe your family's okay, maybe you didn't, nothing, you know, happened. But, but you now have house damage, you now have psychological damage to you and your family, you now have, uh, potentially have to get law enforcement involved, um, all sorts of things like that. And those things are, you know, I would consider them a loss in one way or another. Whereas if no one ever tries in the first place, then you already won. And, uh, or even if somebody tries to, doesn't even maybe make it in, but they say they, they try to kick in your door and you've got it reinforced, um, or they try to break a window and you've got it reinforced or whatever, still, you know, there's a little bit of damage. There's a little bit of time. You have to call the police. Um, there's lots of things, you know, maybe your family's now scared because someone tried. Whereas if they never try in the first place, you deterred it from ever happening and that's great and uh so you know having signs and stickers and uh you know locks and motion lights and cameras and just lots of warnings that, that your house you know is not some one that they should be targeting you know there's there's plenty of other options out there that don't have all the things that you have so they're best to just keep on moving and uh oh one other point i wanted to, to discuss on this so let's go back and touch on cameras for a second. Cameras are great. 
um, you know, they provide you a sense of security. They can help catch somebody after the fact. They can help you monitor your yard, your home, whatever. But in my opinion, the biggest, uh, best part of cameras are the deterrent. They're a deterrent. Um, I mean, like I said, if somebody already breaks into your house or, or steals something out of your yard or whatever, the camera might help catch them, but it already happened. Like it's, it's an after the fact thing. So what, what I believe is the best part of them is, is the, the, the deterrent factor, trying to keep somebody from ever trying because they know they're going to be on camera. Um, which brings me to another point of making sure you have, um, you know, a lot of people have cameras, but they kind of hide them or they put them in up in, in areas in their house where they're, you know, they're not very visible. They don't have signs or stickers or anything warning of it. But I think that's a mistake. I personally think you should, you should show it everywhere that you have these things. You want somebody driving by to see that you have the camera. You want it to be visible. You want to have signs, stickers, whatever, you know, announcing that you have it in places they might look. Um, because once again, you, you could most likely deter them from ever trying to break into your house. And uh, that's kind of the, the biggest point of having them. And uh, like I said, what I think is the, um, the best part of that you can do for home security is to never actually have to defend your home. You can just keep them from ever trying. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, you just, uh, you know, keep, put up signs, put up stickers, you know, put a, put padlocks on gates, um, put, you know, ha have a security system and make it visible, you know, make sure things, make sure you just, you know, somebody looking around is just going to decide your house is just not worth it and they're going to go somewhere else. Um, and you know, you never, you'll never have to worry about someone, you know, trying to break in if, if you scare them off from the very beginning. So, uh, that's, that's like I said, um, yeah, I think you've already won if you deter them. So the number one, uh, the number one home defense tip is, is to, uh, deter them from the first place and just, they never try. So anyway, uh, like, please like, please share, please tell your friends. Um, you were helping me out, but more importantly, you're helping your friends and family, and you may just save them from, from somebody ever trying to break into their house. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.